Hello students, how are you doing? Have you been to the park today? Or maybe have you spent some time today watering your garden plants? Well, today we are going to learn about the type of vegetation which can grow without the help of the humans. And we'll also learn about the animal kingdom which are found inside those vegetation areas. Yes, you guessed right. We are talking about the natural vegetation and wildlife, which is chapter 5 of your geography book. In this chapter, we will learn about what is natural vegetation, Factors affecting the natural vegetation. So there are two major factors, relief and climate. Relief is subdivided into land and soil. Climate is subdivided into temperature, photoperiod and precipitation. We will also learn about the types of vegetation so there are five major types of vegetation found. They are tropical evergreen forests, tropical deciduous forests, tropical thorn forests and scrubs, mountain forests and mangrove forests. And finally, we will learn about the wildlife. So, what is natural vegetation? Natural vegetation refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed by humans for a long time. This is also termed as virgin vegetation. Thus, cultivated crops and fruits, orchards, form part of vegetation but not natural vegetation. So there are two major words associated with natural vegetation. They are flora and fauna. The term flora is used to denote plants of a particular region or period. The species of animals are referred to as fauna. So let us discuss about the factors affecting the natural vegetation. Under the first category that is relief, we have land and soil. So you will find different types of vegetation on different types of land. For example, mountains and plains will have different types of trees. And we all know that the fertile plain land is generally devoted to agriculture. On the other hand, the undulating and rough terrains are areas where grassland and woodlands develop and give shelter to a variety of wildlife. Soil. We have different types of soil found in India like alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, laterite soil, mountain soil or desert soil. So different types of soil produce different types of plants. For example, the sandy soil of the desert support cactus and thorny bushes. Wet marshy deltaic soils support mangroves and deltaic vegetation. The hill slopes with some depth of soil have conical trees. The next factor is climate. Under climate, we have temperature, photoperiod, that is sunlight, and precipitation. So, how does temperature affect the vegetation? Well, temperature plays a major role in determining the types of vegetation because the other factors like humidity, precipitation, etc. also depend on temperature. So, you will find evergreen forest near the equator or you will find coniferous forest 
in the upper regions of the Himalayas where the temperature is cold. Similarly, sunlight also changes the types of vegetation. The variation in the duration of sunlight at different places is due to differences in latitude, altitude, season and duration of the day. Due to longer duration of sunlight, trees grow faster in summer. Next is precipitation. We all know that areas of heavy rainfall have more dense vegetation as compared to areas of less rainfall. In India, almost the entire rainfall is brought in by the advancing southwest monsoon winds that blows from June to September and retreating northeast monsoons. If you want to see the temperature characteristics of the vegetation zone, you can refer to the table 5.1 in your geography book. Now I have a question for you. Please try to find out the answer. Why are the southern slopes of the Himalayas covered with thick vegetation as compared to the northern slopes of the same hills which have less vegetation. Now we will discuss about the usefulness of forests. Forests are renewable resources and play a major role in enhancing the quality of environment. They modify local climate, control soil erosion, regulate stream flow, support a variety of industries, provide livelihood for many communities and offer panoramic or scenic view for recreation. They control wind force and temperature and cause rains. They provide humus to the soil and shelter to the wildlife. Children, I request you to study the table 5.1 in your book which shows the area under forest cover and find out the answer of the questions like name the state having maximum area under forest cover, name the union territory having minimum area under forest cover and why. There is an important fact children you should know this that according to India State of Forest Report 2011, the forest cover in India is 21.05%. Now let us look at the map of India and try to find out which type of vegetation is found in which areas in India. So we have five different types of vegetation. Tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest, tropical thorn forest and scrubs, mountain forests and mangrove forests. First is the tropical evergreen forests. So we are going to understand the different types of forests through the tables. First, the areas where the tropical evergreen forests are found. Well, these forests are restricted to heavy rainfall areas of the western ghats and the island groups of Lakshadweep, Andaman and Nicobar, upper parts of Assam and Tamil Nadu coast. Climatic conditions, they are at their best in areas having more than 200 centimeters of rainfall with a short dry season. Characteristics of trees found here. The trees reach great heights up to 60 meters or even above. Since the region is warm and wet throughout the year, it has a luxuriant vegetation of all kinds, 
trees, shrubs and creepers giving it a multi-layered structure. There is no definite time for trees to shed their leaves. As such, these forests appear green all the year round. Species of flora available. Some of the commercially important trees of this forest are Ebony, Mahogany, Rosewood, Rubber and Cinchona. Species of Fauna available. The common animals found in this forest are elephant, monkey, lemur, and deer. One horned rhinoceros are found in the jungles of Assam and West Bengal. Plenty of birds, bats, sloth, scorpions, and snails are also found in these jungles. Next, is the tropical deciduous forests. So we are going to divide the tropical deciduous forests into two types, moist and dry deciduous forest. Areas. Moist deciduous forests are found in the northeastern states along the foothills of the Himalayas, Jharkhand, West Odisha and Chhattisgarh and on the eastern slopes of the Himalayas. Uh, sorry, and on the eastern slopes of the Western Ghats. The dry deciduous forests are found in the areas of the rainier parts of the peninsular plateau and the plains of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. Climatic conditions. For moist deciduous forest, they are found in areas receiving rainfall between 200 and 100 centimeters. For dry deciduous, areas having rainfall between 100 to 70 centimeters. Characteristics of these forests Moist deciduous and dry deciduous. In both the forests, trees shade their leaves for about 6 to 8 weeks. In dry summer. Species of flora available. Moist deciduous, bamboos, sal, shisham, sandalwood, khair, kusum, arjun, mulberry, etc. Dry deciduous forest, teak, sal, people and neem. Species of fauna, Moist deciduous forest, lion, tiger, pig, deer and elephant. Also a huge variety of birds, lizards, snakes and tortoises are found. Dry deciduous, lion, tiger, deer, pig etc. And also a variety of birds, lizards snakes etc are found. Next we have tropical thorn forests and scrubs. Areas Northwestern part of the country including the semi-arid areas of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Climatic conditions in regions with less than 70 cm of rainfall, characteristics of the trees. Trees are scattered and have long roots penetrating deep into the soil in order to get moisture. The stems are succulent to conserve water. Leaves are mostly thick and small. To minimize evaporation. Species of flora, acacias, palms, euphorbias and cacti are the main plant species. Species of fauna, rats, mice, rabbits, fox, wolf, tiger, lion, wild ass, horses and camels. So far we have learnt about 
What is natural vegetation? Factors affecting the natural vegetation like the relief and the climatic factors. Different types of vegetation among them we have learned about the tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest and tropical thorn forest and scrubs. So rest of the part we are going to learn in part 2 of the same chapter. Till then. Goodbye children.